everybody, NinjaX the Enlightened Gamer here. Welcome back to Ninjo's first leap of faith. Let's play Paper Mario. I'm gonna grab another Goom Nut, cause why not? Now, this time it's important to mention, as long as there's an enemy that I have tattled, as long as battles don't contain enemies that I've tattled on, I'm going to skip out battles from this point on. Or I guess if I level up or something else important. All right. I finally got the hang of the hammer timing again. As you can see from this battle, this is our very first occurrence of multiple enemies in a single fight. Still no big deal to us. Yep. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Awesome. I think we're probably going to be able to skip this one. We sure were. Ooh, I wonder what's in these. Coin, a nothing, and a coin. New enemy, the Paragoomba. As you can see, if you strike it, it loses its wings. And since it is a tattleable enemy, we're gonna go ahead and leave this fight in. This is a Paragoomba. Obviously, Paragoombas are Goombas with wings. Max hit points two, attack power one, defense power zero. You can't hit him in the with the hammer when they're airborne. If you damage him, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas. <laughs> mm. Yep, not really much to talk about here. Goombas are basic low-level enemies and Paragoombas are no exception. He dropped the heart. Oh, a new enemy. Say hello to the Spike Goomba. I mean, we've already seen him. But since we haven't officially tattled on them, we can do that. This is a Spiked Goomba. Spiked Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. Max hit points 2, attack power 2, and defense power 0. They do one more damage than an ordinary Goomba. And don't jump on him, because if you do, you'll get hurt, or even paralyzed, I guess. This is gonna hurt. We're in danger now. Town pants. Since only Mario can hurt the spiked Goomba, Mario should attack the spike while Goombario focuses on the normals. You can also see the spike Goomba gave us an additional star point. Which, while it's obvious and I don't think it bears needing to say, I'll say it anyways. Awesome! The close call badge! This essentially gives us a dodge bonus with certain enemies, and I'm gonna go on ahead and put that on right now. I'd rather not need it, but if it activates when you do, you'll thank yourself. Eat a mushroom to regain your energy. I'm gonna try and avoid this fight. Okay, I guess what harm is it? I'll skip it anyways. Ooh! There's three. That's all you guys need to know. Alright. Didn't need that heart, but we got it anyways. As you can see, we now have 59 star points. We've broken the midway point. And... 
Hey, hold on right there. You, yeah, you, suspicious guy. Don't move. Hey, uh, Mario. No, you can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King, that's right. I'm sorry, but the only way to buy it to us, the Goomba and the other Goomba. Let's get him, Goomba! Oh yeah, let's do it, Red. Say hello to our first quote sub-boss. I'm gonna go on ahead and leave Mario out front and just strike at the blue one. Actually... We're gonna go on ahead and tattle on the blue one first. This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba brothers. Max hit points a whopping six, attack power one, and defense power still nothing. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. No. Hello. Yo. As you heard in his little speech. Radical. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. Wow, Goombario's voice is going all over the place. He's weaker than his brother, so I'm gonna go on ahead and attack the red one first. And this is a good time to start using this Power Stomp badge. As you can see, much more damage. Mario, how'd you like some of this? This is Red Goomba. He's the elder of the two notorious Goomba brothers, dude. Max hit points seven. Attack power one. Defense power zero. The Goomba King ordered him to try and stop you. You can take this guy, no prob. He's just got a little more HP than an ordinary Goomba. Let's go on ahead and use a head bomb to finish him off. Red, Red, Goomba, my brother! No, you meaning Mario? We do not have enough power flower points now to use that, which is kind of unfortunate. But he can only do one damage a turn, and he'll sometimes miss because of our damage dodge. Or our close call badge. He has five hit points, we have five hit points. We're doing the same amount of damage as him. Actually, we're doing twice the damage as him. So we've got this, it's on lock. It's on lock, we can't possibly lose this fight. Unless he gets a sudden boost of power or something, we can't possibly lose this fight. And victory is a little bit less thrilling when it was so easy. Oh, we got 20 star points. That's good. Yeah. I can't remember the red one's voice, so I'm just gonna do the blue one. Yeah. I'll let you go for now. Let's see what's down here really quick. The save block. We're not gonna hit that. Because I don't, in case this recording goes any worse, I don't want to lose the save. This is deceptive, so I'm going to look at it. Remember the last one gave us a mushroom? Eat a mushroom to regain your energy. But that's not what I am. 
We don't really miss out on anything by skipping this fight. I just figured that I would because it's just two Goombas. Oh, what horrific creature could own this massive fort, I wonder. Never mind. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up. Hey, look, Mario. See that building over there? I'm pretty sure it used to be a bridge. Scared little man? Uh, yeah, you're scared alright. You wanna say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to mate Ready to mate my rat, Mario? You better be! Beat him up, King Goomba. We've got your back. Leave him to me. Leave him to me. Hey, Mario. I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba brothers first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating him up back there. Two hit points apiece? And I'm going to go on ahead and use the Fire Flower, which does three damage to all enemies. There's no sense in just attacking one-on-one -on -one in this fight. Especially when you can do that. And we get to tattle on the Goomba King. This is the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He looks really powerful. Max hit points 10, attack power 1, base defense 0. He's the boss of the red Goomba and blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I'd like to be a bit bigger too. Two points of damage, he used his special attack. But, now we can use our special attack. And do three damage. Which also means we're almost done with the first official boss of the game. By which I mean, we're done with the first official boss of the game. As I mentioned earlier, my strategy is generally to keep Mario tanky and rely on the partners to deal damage. So hit points and badge points are both essential, but hit points is better earlier on. <laughs> I got hurt. Yeah, I knew you could do it. Cool victory, brah! Yes, is this the same tree from the battle? Yes, hit it. Yes, star piece. He 
if you go up to the windows, the Goombas will mention something about not hoping they don't you don't find a switch. Here's the switch. Let's hit it. Oh, Mario, don't fight and hold hand. I must warn you, however, if you find a switch, you should not press it. It's dangerous. Understand? You what? You already pressed it! Oh, no! I had to run as fast as I could to get up here where it is least safe. <sighs> Look! The bridge! Now we can cross it and continue our journey, alright? Quan. There is stuff around here somewhere, I just know it, I remember. Awesome! A super shroom! I'm sure that I know that that's useful in making several recipes. In fact, we're probably going to buy and consume more super shrooms than any other item in the game. Okay, let's go on ahead and just continue without saving. Never thought I'd select that option. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. A report your evilness. Mario has defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable! What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp! Uh, Kami Koopa? You are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, your vileness. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good! <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of getting Mario their power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately. This strategy has worked many times for you, Lord Bowser. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects, which also has worked well for you in the past. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Mm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at Cooper Brothers Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Brothers defeat him? Lord Bowser, you mustn't worry. Hiya! Here come the Koopa Brothers! Uh huh, oh yeah, we're the coolest of the cool. 
Grab me, Koopa. Are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Psaw! Get real, King Bowser! Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. That's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Brothers. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh, oh! That, this is, oh! How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent, really! I'm not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa brothers, about the captured Star Spirit I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... YOU IDIOTS! USE YOUR HEAD! GET BACK TO THE FORTRESS AND GUARD THE STAR SPIRIT! <laughs> Who doesn't love the Cooper Brothers? Especially since they're totally not pl making fun of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Which totally isn't a reference to the Axum Rangers making fun of the Power Rangers. In Mario RPG. It's great. It's just great. We got our next badge. The hammer throw badge allows you to throw the hammer in the air. This also allows you to hit enemies with your hammer that your jump cannot reach. We're going to go on ahead and take the power jump off. And equip the hammer throw for now. Let's see, we're, we're only at 25 minutes, and with those battles that I cut out, and that phone call that I cut out, it was an important call, so I had to take it. Hang on, what voice is this toad gonna have? Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in an uproar. The princess kidnapped. The berry castle uprooted. It's Bedlam! I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Get it? Because she's in the air? The puns are real. But before we do that, let's -a visit Ouija. I wonder what my brother Mario is -a doing right now. Whoa! Mario! It's a, it's a you! Good to see you! And you're all right! After all of that castle craziness, I was really worried about the you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in a time. And who are you? I'm Gimbario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well. Take care of Mario, okay? Poor Ouija. Poor Luigi. Well, he has the Superstar Saga. And eventually Luigi's Mansion. And Mario Brothers 2. And Super Mario 3D World. 
and a position in every single party game ever made for Nintendo. And he's a pretty good fighter in Smash, too. This is one of our, ch this is our check sheet, our checklist. There are 80 badges in the game, 160 star pieces, and there's a couple more things that we have to complete. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Remember this panel for later. It will be a source of amusement later. But for now, it's just a weird shape coloration on the floor. I have no idea how long this video is going to last, guys. Just letting you know. It might be better to cut it now, but I don't want to. Say hello to the item shop. We're gonna have to locate some of these so that we can get certain items in bulk, like super shrooms. This area will also be vital to us later. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Roth's the name. I'm starting me up a little business in Toad Town. I'm still setting up, though. I want to see you back here when we open, all right? Wait a minute. Oh, we'll deal with that later. Merlon is out. I said Merlon is out, so he must be out. I'm telling you, Merlon is out! Out! And we just get repeat dialogue. Yay. Wow. All of the 64-bit devastation. And say hello to Star Road. This house is vital for any completion attempt at this game. So I thought I'd come in here. First off, this treasure chest will be very important to us later. Second off, upstairs... I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, if you have any star pieces, I'll swap them for some cool badges. How about it? Let's swap. Which badges do you want to swap for? Actually, this might be a great way to grind for coins later on. I'm going to exchange payoff for one star piece. The number of badge points you need for this badge is two. Is this the badge you want? Yes. All right then, mister. Want to swap some more? I never buy the FX badges, but seeing as we have an additional star piece, star piece. Attack effects A badge. All right then, mister. Why don't we swap some more? I just wanted to see how many star pieces I have. I have one. Well.
I guess it's about time to find the save block. I guess we'll climb up shooting climb up to shooting star summit next time. Until then, as always, stay enlightened. Thank you so very much for watching this video. If you're at all interested in watching videos from my other series for this season, please click one of the videos that should be appearing shortly. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope, as always, you'll stay enlightened. <laughs>